what is going on guys welcome back to a career video uh, this is going to be a start of our career with dams f2 uh, the dams f2 team um, this is going to be a new series which will be um, you know starting from f2 making our way from to f1 uh, hopefully we'll be picking a I think we'll try and start off our Formula One career with um, with um, Alfa Romeo. So uh, once we complete um, F2, then I'm pretty sure we're gonna go with uh, thingy with uh, Alfa Romeo. Obviously, we gotta pick the Ferrari Driver Academy. It has Ferrari, Haas, and Alfa Romeo, which is the team we are trying to look for. We're well, trying to join. Uh, I'm here with my uh, Logitech G29. And uh, with the pedals as well, of course. So uh, let's just start it, shall we? We're gonna the race distance is gonna be 25. Oh yeah, AI level. Um, I'm gonna change that to uh, 85. I am on a wheel as well, guys, and I really, really, really need to practice with it. So you know, and the assists. Um, I think we're gonna put full traction because. Uh, I tried racing with Arden and uh, trust me the traction was not great so here we go starting our career with dams of course we need to go through the whole process so we'll just wait here hopefully I'll be able to cut this bit out but I probably won't since you know it's part of the actual thing Taking quite a long time. I'm gonna just uh, close my window. Oh, never mind. Dam's new driver really commanding the race here. Devon Butler still ruthlessly giving chase. These two have been really scrapping it out for the early wins in the championship. Something's wrong. Butler sees his chance. Some kind of mechanical failure. Picking up speed again. It's unclear what the issue was. Can they still finish this race? Of course we can. Looks like an issue with the turbo. You've lost some speed at the top end, but you're very close to the finish. You can still compete and get some points here. Don't give up. Just do the best you can. We're all behind you. Of course, with the turbo gone. We will be experiencing some loss of thingies. And here we go guys, as I have full control now. Braking here. Ooh. There we go. Alright, I'll let him pass. I'll try and let him pass on the street. Here we are, um, if you didn't realize guys, we're here at, um, we're here at Spain. There, I'm, tr I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to let Lucas pass. There we go. I've let Lucas pass, but, uh, that's the thing, uh, the driver behind us has DRS on us, and he will try and go down our inside. We are trying to protect. Here we are. I hate this turn so much, especially with the wheel. Alright. P6. Looks like we did have to lose a position for our teammate though. Which is unfortunate, but it's fine. We do lock up there on our left front tire. Which is quite, you know, quite bad. We are losing a bunch of time from the car behind. I'm pretty sure he will try to try and overtake us on the on this bit since they do have DRS here quite clean through that turn try and get away from uh, Markolov I'm sorry if I said that name wrong I probably did but you know there we go go through that turn carefully and don't want to try and oh no we underestimated that turn looks like we had a bit of too much oversteer 
There we go. Smoothly go to that corner. If we didn't have, um, if the turbo charger wasn't um, thingy broken, then I'm pretty sure we definitely would have a lot of space. It seems like the turbo charger is fine, but uh, you know, he's trying to go down our inside there, trying to refuse him. Looks like we clipped the corner there. We, we, we do go out wide, unfortunately, as we were trying to pay attention to the car behind. But it's quite fine, we keep the position of P6. Just two more laps left and uh, we come away with P6. Alright. Yeah, and yes, our driver is called uh, basically me. That's my last name, of me. But obviously I'm going to change that, I'm pretty sure. Cause since I, I use that for my real career mode, you know, the one I use single player. The one I don't use videos on. Go through that turn very clean. Looks like our teammate has gone into P4. Alright, we lock up there, but it's quite fine. We do take a bit of damage on the front wing, though, I believe, after the impact with that. Alright. I believe we are braking a bit too soon, but I'm trying to avoid us locking the brakes and letting them gain a position from me doing that. Right, we are on to the last lap of the, uh, of Cat Catalonia and the Catalonian uh, GP, Spanish Grand Prix, Grand, Grand Prix, sorry I cannot speak. Try and go hard on the brake there as we are. We almost locked up there. Going quite aggressive on the wheel and the pedals. Trying to not go out wide. Trying to keep the position of P6. Right, here we go. Uh oh, looks like we do a uh, lock up there. And uh, looks like the car behind us is gaining go on us quite fast I'd say like a tenth per lap but this is the last lap oh no oh oh god oh no that cannot be good just so you just so you guys know um, I'm not going to be flashbacking that much now that was only for that one since I always hate that turn that's been that turn is just that caused too much uh, anger for me. Looks like Aikton is closing up on us. He goes round our outside. We go round his inside though. Uh, looks like he's gonna try and come back at us. Our fuel is very low. As of course we do not have um, thingy over that. It's the uh, car's decision with the fuel, as you see here. We have plenty of fuel left, but it's fine. And Devin Butler comes away with the uh, win. Our, our thingy, oh, one of our thingies rivals, but we do come away with P6. A wonderful race, that to be honest. Unfortunately, we did have to give up P5. Yeah, unfortunately, we did have to uh, thingy flashback and give away a position. But that's all fine. I'm pretty sure our teammate picked us up. Picked us up some points I'm pretty sure we did as well so I was about like um, 18 points I think I'm pretty sure our teammate must have gotten a podium especially with the turbo charger the turbo charger really really messed us up I'm pretty sure Lando Norris is there with uh, P2 I think that was let's just skip this bit Looks like George Russell and Lando Norris are both up there. I think they're all British. All oh, British. Yep, yeah. British uh, podium finishes. I'm pretty sure that's Colin there. We are. We are definitely with one of the best um, F2 teams, Dams. Uh, but uh, yeah. 
But to be honest, it's all fine. Unfortunately, we did go from P1 to P6. Unfortunately. But uh, definitely, if we um, if we didn't have that turbo charger, if we didn't have that turbo charger problem, we definitely would have uh, definitely gotten the victory there. But it's quite unfortunate. But anyways, uh, at least we picked up our team some points. And uh, yeah. I'm definitely going to make a part two as soon as. Oh, there you are. That was an exciting race. It definitely got people talking about you, which means I was able to secure a quick interview. Okay, we're all set over here. Just a minute. Remember, anything you say to the press can go very, very public. So be relaxed, but also be conscious of what you're saying and how it might come across to other people. Okay? I think we're ready. Great. Right, here we are for our first interview. Tell me you're the one to watch this season. If that's true, you'll be doing plenty of these. Just remember, be yourself. And the more you can give me, the better this will go. Right, stand here. Turn a little this way for me. Perfect. Ready? Yep. An exciting race today. Let's get your perspective. So you and Lucas are new to the team. How are you settling well, uh, the team are doing a fantastic job, and it helps out that uh, Lucas is an exceptional driver, it's really helping out the team, getting us some points, so you know. Okay, so how did you feel about being ordered to give up the position to Lucas? I mean, of course Lucas was definitely faster than me. I mean, it's what the team really wanted, but uh, yeah, there was really no reason for me to hold him up, and uh, to be honest, it was definitely the right decision. Right. So that was our first interview of uh, our driver. By the way, guys, down in the comments below, definitely give me some, uh, definitely give me some um, driver names to call what we can call the uh, driver. Um, We definitely did lose some time, we did have to let Lucas pass him, you know, definitely lost a lot of time from that. But uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to end up end the video here. So um, thank you so very much for watching guys and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short little career video introducing our new driver. Uh, be sure down in the comments to give me some new driver names because uh, I definitely need to change the driver name. So. Uh, Let's just watch this little cut scene first, and then you know. Or I think it's gonna put us straight into the uh, race actually, so you know, let's might as well do this race, you know. So, uh, right, looks like uh, I'm pretty sure that's a uh, dinghy going past us, and it does go out wide. Contact. Significant damage. Not sure if that was down to recklessness or sheer aggression, but I'm sure the stewards are going to have something to say very shortly. They sure are. All right. Don't give up. You're still in this race. 
Uh, what position are we? I'm guessing we are. Uh, from that, it looks like we are P4 or P3. Oh, never mind. Jeez. All right. Here we are, guys. Uh, going into the. Uh, going to the Austrian GP. Alright, whatever you say, engineer. Uh, we're gonna try and push on to Devon. Going for the championship, definitely. Going through the only left turn through the Austrian GP. Devon's in the pits. So we will have to push. Alright, well, we are now pushing. Onto uh, Gunter, I think that's how you say his name. Looks like we do go out a bit wide there. Uh, I believe he's. Oh, yep, yeah, he's just come out of the pits. He will be quite slow. Alright, going into the first turn. Alright, pretty smooth that. I believe we are trying, we are catching up on uh, the Arden up there. We do go out a bit wide, but it's fine. Alright. Going up into turn 5, I believe this is. At Austria. Oh, we do go a bit wide there, but it's fine. Alright, going through the only left turn at the Austrian GP again. Alright, Tio. A bit of understeer, but it's fine. Oh, looks like there is a drive behind us, of course. And the gap is 2.2 seconds, I believe I heard him say. Alright, here we are. I, d I believe we're not we're not really catching up onto the driver in front so we really 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 do need to push with um with five laps left well four now um we are thinking looks like i did get fastest um thingy, so, you know, that's all right i think we always had it but you know i'm coming up for you arden don't wait up we do lock up unfortunately, but it's fine. I'm pretty sure that helped us. Right, going to, going up to turn five now. All right, we do lock up, but it's fine. We are catching up on the Arden. Go through that turn very smooth. Uh, mate, I couldn't care less. I mean, to be honest, I could, but, um, you know, right now it's not really important to me. Alright, here we are. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's the fastest last sector, never mind. The gap between the Arden and us is 1.8 So we are catching up on him Quite fast But there is a massive massive gap To the car head Of the Arden So it might be Very hard to catch up Once again we go out wide I'm pretty sure it's because we locked up but It's fine We're catching up on the Arden very very fast uh, with three laps left, uh, uh, we might not be able to make make it and catch up to uh, to Devon, but it's fine. At least we'll gain one position. Uh, never mind. Yes, yes, yes. Leave me alone, I know what I'm doing. Like Kimmy once said. Uh, 
and lock up there unfortunately I'm pretty sure we will have DRS on the next um, uh, turn one but we just gotta get to him oh, I don't think we will have DRS on to the Arden yeah we definitely won't but I'm pretty sure we will be able to catch up to the Arden in time he has a lot of clean air there so we do have DRS but uh, oh no that's very unfortunate we're just gonna do <laughs> one of these because yeah of course I'm still trying to get used to uh, the braking on this very very smooth there have DRS there going down the inside of uh, Oh, looks like we won't be able to make a move but I'm pretty sure we will be able to move make a move on the last couple laps right behind the Arden I'm gonna try and make a move right here I'm gonna go try and go down his inside we make it down his inside Wow what a great move that was uh, we do have one of the fastest sectors too. sector 2 and but I'm pretty sure we won't be able to catch up to Devon. Yeah, unfortunately we won't be able to catch up to Devon. If it wasn't for Devon, we uh, definitely would have came away for the, with the win. But uh, yeah, here we are with the fastest lap. There we go. I'm pretty sure that Arden will have uh, DRS on DRS on us. But yeah. Definitely won't be able to catch up to uh, the uh, cars ahead. They are way too far. Is three ahead of you right now. Yes, yes, yes. I'm trying to catch up to him, but unfortunately, definitely won't be able to catch up to him. Oh, we lock up there. Oh, God. Oh. Let's just uh, pretend that never happened and, uh, you know, just, uh, you know. Right? Mm. Yeah. Of course, I have to flashback because, you know, I am quite a very bad driver on the wheel, but... Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, we did not be able to, we were not able to uh, catch up to Devin in time, but um, it's quite fine. He comes across the line. No, uh, he didn't actually. And we come across the line at P10. Uh, quite unfortunate event. Uh, we lost our front wing and we could not catch up to him. Uh, uh, I could not catch up to Devon, unfortunately, but yeah, at least we did great there, and yeah, um, you know, let's just see what happens on the next couple cutscenes, Lando Norris wins the, wi wins the uh, Austrian Grand Prix, very good racing, and uh, yeah, unfortunately. We went down from P4 to P10. Yeah. Fortunately. But, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, introduction of this career mode. I'm pretty sure this video is around 15 minutes. But let's just um, do this one interview and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. So yeah, be right back guys, we're just going to thingy. Are you disappointed with the final result? Um, poof, to be honest. Um, I'm quite frustrated, but this race is finished now, and to be honest, I'm quite focused on the next one. So did you ever think you'd get the place back from Devon? To be honest, um, the, lap, the, the gap was just too large, to be honest. And uh, I, I really, I was really hoping that I'd be able to catch up, but um, unfortunately I wasn't. 
I've seen that you and Lucas have been picking up a lot of points recently. What do you think of your championship chances? To be honest, our results are a reflection of the incredible work of the team. Uh, the team works really, really, really hard on the car, and uh, to be honest, it comes out very well. Great. Well, that's everything. Thank you. Right, guys, and uh, yeah, thank you uh, very much for watching this, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone, and yeah, peace out.